So now let's just quickly save the user data to the Firestore database alongside with the download URL. So we can just say wait Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection. So inside the Firestore we are going to create main collection by the name users and inside this users main collection we will save all the users records or you can say all the users data records so yeah and let me show it to you this is basically the Firestore okay the Firestore database so yeah now let's just test the app and you will see what it means so inside the user's main collection, as you know, each user will have their own uh, unique key, the UID. So by the user UID, we can recognize each user. As you know, there can be millions and billions number of users. So each user unique ID, that is using their UID, we can recognize each user. So we can just say dot document and then the user ID, which we can get from the credential, that is from the fire, fire, Firebase authentication. When the user is authenticated successfully, then using this credential, we can get that UID. So we can say credential dot user dot UID and make sure to add a null check with the user. So using the user unique ID, we can recognize each user record that is to which user this specific record belongs. Okay, and then after it, we can set the record that is we can save the data to it so we can just say that let's define the data for it and if you remember we have implemented the model class which is basically our user model class user dot dot let me show it to you okay we will import this as user model this user dot dot is basically our this one okay user dot dot so as we are saving the information saving the user data to the firestore database so what we will do this information that is specifically the name email and password okay and also the default youtube facebook twitter link of the user profile so we will basically uh, convert that data from simple form to JSON form. As you know that in the Firestore database whenever we want to save data to it we first convert that to JSON. So it is saved you can say in simple words the data is saved in the Firestore database as JSON that is in JSON format. So we, that's why we have implemented the this user class and I hope you remember that I have explained this in complete details. If you have not watched this video then please go and watch that video first okay for which purpose we implemented the this to JSON and from snap so according to the current scenario as we are saving the record to the Firestore database so we will use this to JSON that is we will convert the user information to JSON and then we will save it in the Firestore database so now what we can do here is we can simply say that user model user model dot user and let's give it name as user user model dot user and now to the user model dot user we will basically pass the information which is in simple format as I told you we will convert that to JSON format so user model dot user which simply means that we are referencing to this model class so to this user we are going to pass the name email password okay that is the user information so for example uh, the information as you know which we get from the text field that is the username email password and of course the profile picture so that information as you know we are receiving here and that is in simple format so what we are going to do we are going to convert that to JSON so first we will pass this for example we will call the name to name to name attribute that is to name we will assign the name of the user so we can say name and the name is basically username from the te input text field then of course the next one is the email and it is the user email from the text field input text field and then of course we have the uh, 
image so it is image and the link of which is inside our variable image download URL okay and then next thing is let's also save the UID so we can say UID credential dot user dot UID just like this make sure to add another check with the user so this user this user object as you know this is an object of our user model class so this user object has this data now that is the username user email from the input text input text fields okay and of course the download URL and the UID of the user so this data is accessible by this user object so now using this user object we can uh, convert this to JSON so what we can do is we can simply call here that is user as you know user simply means this and when I say user it simply means the name email image and the UID of the user that is the user information so you can say user dot to JSON so we just convert that to st uh, JSON format as so in JSON for it will convert it to the JSON format and then we will save it as you know we are setting this or you can say we set this or you can say we save or we store it at this location that is inside the users main location under the user unique UID so we save it in JSON format when we test the application you will see the result okay for now now the last important important thing is basically to know about any error that is if any error occur while creating a brand new account for a user we must let the user know that is operation unsuccessful and the user has to try again so for that purpose this piece of code which we write inside this method okay all these three steps let's just cut this okay control x and we will add try catch block so we can say try catch the error message so inside the try we will paste our code back that is the three steps of course and then inside the catch as I told you if any error occur we will just tell that is get dot snack bar the title will be error occurred or you can just say we will move this to the to the message and then the title will be account creation unsuccessful account creation unsuccessful and we can just say uh, error occurred while creating account and if any error occur and in that case after displaying the snack bar we will say get dot to login screen and we have to make sure that our global variable which is for the progress bar which is show progress bar so we have to make sure to set this to false now we are ready to test the application but the important thing that we have to do is to check the firestore database rules that is you have to make sure that they are read write is allowed to true that is read write is allowed similarly for the storage we have to make sure that the rules are allowed so here you can see read write if make sure to change this to true just like this and click publish so once you do these changes click on authentication and now let's test the app so the app is running now 
that just sign up choose any image from the phone gallery as a profile image of the user and let's say the username is peter22 peter.22 and then email peter at the red gmail.com then of course the password and then we have to click on sign up now we will go step by step alongside with the code so the moment when now when I click on the sign up button as you know that first it will create user in the firebase authentication that is in here so let's just click on sign up so user is creating now okay a new account is creating and the new account created successfully even though we have to basically display any message when the account is created successfully okay so if we refresh this by clicking here you can see peter at the red gmail.com this account is created this is the email and then the password is uh, secret that is it is in for the security purposes okay firebase authentication the user cannot just see it directly and then this was the user uid about which i am talking okay that is the user unique id so using this id we can recognize each and every user for example each user will have their own unique different id for example peter has this id which starts from l a h y ending at 0 f 2 so this is the authentication the next thing was that it saved the user it saved the user image the user profile image to the storage basically to the firebase storage so if i come back here to the storage then inside the storage as you know profile images folder is created which I told you that is okay and inside the profile images folder if you go inside that then we have the image by the the image name will be the user ID as you can see LHY ending at 0F2 which belongs to Peter.22 okay this is the username so this is the user ID by which we can recognize each user profile image as you can see this was the image which is uploaded and then the next step was basically to save the user information to the firestore database so if we come back here then here you can see if we click on database firestore database then you will see here the information which is each user information is saved by the user unique UID for example you know that this ID belongs to peter at the red gmail.com LHY ending at 0F2 so under that unique ID the user information is saved which I already explained okay as you can see here inside the users main collection inside the users main collection each user will be recognized by their UID and under that each user information will be available so currently we have email image name and UID and of course the Facebook link Instagram link Twitter link and YouTube link that is something which the user will provide on the profile settings page on the account settings page which we will implement later on in this course so these are the default values that is the link is not provided yet so Facebook null you see null alongside with it okay so yeah this is how we register a user we will of course now add some message when the account is created successfully so inside the try block okay after when the information is saved successfully to the database what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically say that account created so we can say congratulations your account has been created so it will display this message and of course when the account is created successfully after that we will send the user to the home page to the home screen but that is something that we will implement uh, later on in this course as we have to manage the stat of our screen using the getx stat management and we will work on that once we implement this authentication after this we will work on the login form on the login screen so that we allow the user to log in also so anyways now we are ready to test the app again and now if we 
here also one more thing which we forgot to do is basically we have to make sure to set the show progress bar to false and yeah we have to for now just for now we will send the user directly to the login screen after successful registration so let's just test the app to see if it is working or not I'm going to create another account let's say this username is John John underscore 34 let's say is the username and then the email let's say then password and if we click on sign up account is creating and once the account is created successfully then you will see account created congratulations your account has been created now if we go to the authentication then you will see new user has been added and this other user has their own unique ID okay and now if you go to the storage then you will see that this other user has their own unique ID by which we have saved this image his profile image and if we go to the Firestore database then inside the user main collection this new user information is added under his unique UID so with the help of this UID we can recognize John information so you can see that